Hi, this is JP from Know the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Eye of Chaos episode, uh, which, in which we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for that investigator, and try to do the best we can in that scenario. So, uh, without further delay, uh, I have my remaining investigator tokens in this bag, and uh, we'll see uh, which unlucky investigator we get this time. So this time we are building a deck for Tommy Muldoon. Okay, another guardian. So uh, Tommy is a decent solo in true solo investigator. So I'm hoping to get a decent deck for him. So uh, let's hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and build a deck for Tommy. Okay. And we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and let's find Tommy. There is Tommy, so we'll build a Chaos deck for Tommy now. So Tommy is a Guardian Seeker, so hoping to get some uh, uh, cards that help me get clues. Tommy has an uh, Intellect of 3, so not utterly useless in investigating, but better at fighting. Okay, uh, we got a quite a uh, heavy survivor card pool here. Let's see first. We have Blackjack, which is bad. Uh, then we have two copies of Mariner's Compass. Well, this helps us investigate. Old Keyring helps us investigate. Pocket Multi-Tool. Um, it's a bit costly without any experience, so not that good. Trench Kna, it is not good. A oh, baseball bat is good for Tommy. Of course, we have the Becky if we need a really good weapon for Tommy. Uh, one token of faith, uh, not good. Hunter's armor, not good without the upgrades. Letter coat, better for Tommy. And well, uh, both of these have soap, so if they get defeated, Tommy gets a lot of resources or bullets for Becky, which is good. Uh, we have also a trench coat, tool belt, uh, Grete Wagner, which is really good for Tommy, uh, Madame Labranche, not that good, one medical student, dig deep, enchanted blade, which is okay for Tommy, scavenging, uh, Tennessee Star Mash, no, not that interested in that. Track shoes, always a good one. Well, Tommy has only a two in agility, so uh, not probably going to evade that much. So the track shoes may be not that useful. Belly of the Beast, not good for Tommy. Custom modifications, well, without any upgrades, not keen on this one. Dumb luck, not good. For, well, it's okay for Tommy. We really need it. Uh, Fortius Discovery times one. Useless improvised weapon. Not that good. Live and learn. This is okay. Uh, makeshift trap. So we're getting a lot of uh, customizable cars, which we don't have any experience for, which are, I think, bad without upgrades. Able bodied is okay. Daring is good for Tommy. And one copy of Guts. Okay, well. We have weapons, we have some tools for investigating, so not a complete dud. Uh, let's see what the random based weakness is. It's Unspeakable Old Curiosity, which is a campaign only card, so we will redraw that. Let's get a new random based weakness. And try again. Nihilism. Well, this is. Maybe the softest um, weakness in our come at the moment, so I'm I'm happy with that. So that is Tommy's deck. So not not the worst, but of course could be a lot better. So uh, we'll build the deck for Tommy and get started. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start, so 
let's just draw our opening hand and see where that goes. So one, two, three, four, five. We'll get Hunter's Armor, Track Suit, Makeshift Trap, Trench Coat, Improvised Weapon. Yeah, um, I'll keep the Hunter's Armor and ditch the rest. One, two, three, four. Grete, Wagner, Scavenging Letter, Coat, and Dumb Luck. Okay, well. No weapons, uh, which is bad, but we got great Greta, which we will play immediately. That will help us to get clues and fight better. So hoping to draw a weapon from the deck at some point. Should do the draw one card and gain one resource here, but I think not. Okay. First action, we'll just use all of our resources to play Grete. And second action, we'll actually play Letter Cold. This is just because if we hit the gra uh, Grave Chill or uh, Crypt Chill, uh, we have a buffer to not lose Grete immediately. Last action, we will investigate. I'm committing the scavenging, so we are investigating uh, 4 versus 2. Minus 1, we'll grab this clue. And that is our turn. No enemies, we'll go to upkeep. We draw makeshift trap and gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add one doom, and counter card for this round is on Wings of Darkness. Well, that's a free move in my book. Uh, we are testing uh, 2 versus 4, not even committing anything. Uh, auto fail, well that's great. We get a free move to the central location, or central location actually, but we'll take 1 damage and 1 horror. And I'll take the damage on Better Coat and the horror on Greta. And uh, that's that, so first action, we'll investigate here for uh, 3 plus 1. Minus 4, we'll try again. 3 plus 1. 0. We get this clue. And last action, before we decide what we do next, I'll spend the clues and spawn Wolfman Drew. So Wolfman Drew spawns to downtown. Okay, so we still need a weapon to go after Wolfman, but I think we can try to fish out one next round. So that is that round, no enemy action. We'll go to upkeep, daring, and we gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Counter card for this round is Mysterious Chanting. So uh, we add two Doom on the Wolfman Drew, so we need to do pick up the pace and go defeat that. So uh, first action we'll move to East Town. Uh, we'll draw a weapon, uh, a card, rookie mistake. Discard each asset you control with damage or horror on it, if no assets were discarded. Uh, that sucks, that sucks so bad. Well, there goes letter coat and there goes Greta. Uh, we'll draw another card. Well, it is an enchanted plate, so next round we have to play that. Move in and start fighting. Okay, well, it's gonna be an uphill battle from here on. No enemy actions, we'll go to upkeep, we get fruitious, disco uh, fruitious discovery and gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, and counter card is obscuring fog. Okay, well, it doesn't affect our plan for this round. We're not investigating here, so first action we'll play. 
uh, the enchanted blade. So this takes also an arcane slot, but we are not playing any any of those. It has three charges on it. Second action, we'll move to downtown. Mm, we are not in time to actually defeat Wolfman Drew this round. But next round we ha can defeat Wolfman Drew and start fighting the... Um, Mask Hunter. So, last action is to hit with the Enchanted Blade. We are fighting at 6 versus... And it is a minus three. Drop one of your tools. Oh, ah, uh, this is going really bad. Okay, well, nothing we can do. We'll go to upkeep. Uh, no enemy face first. So this and uh, Wolfman Drew hits us for two damage. Then we'll go to upkeep. We get custom modifications and gain a resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so the agenda advances. That mysterious chanting is really one card that can ruin your timing in this scenario. So we get the mass counter on us. So four fight, six health and two evade. This is a tough guy to deal with without a proper weapon. But let, uh, let's at least try to kill off Wolfman Drew. So first action will hit Wolfman Drew. And I'm committing the custom modification. So we are 7 versus 4. I should have committed something last round, but I was uh, stupid enough. <laughs> Minus 4, we fail. I'll try again. <coughs> Hitting Wolfman Drew. Committing Daring. No. I'm evading the Mask Hunter. Uh, committing Daring and committing... Dumb Luck. Uh, I'm just committing the daring. So we are up by three, but uh, Wolfman Drew gains alert. We succeed barely. So at least. No, uh, we were evading the mass counter, I mean. So. Yeah. I need to slow things down, so I'll move to north side. Wolfman Drew, who hits me for two damage. I'm I'm playing this so badly. Enemy face, Wolfman Drew hits us for two more damage. Upkeep, this guy readies. And uh, we draw medical student, which helps a bit, and gain a resource, so... That is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. Okay, and I think I removed one charge from here too early, as we were evading. Yeah. So um, we get a doom and counter card is another enemy. Why, well, of course. We'll just put that enemy here in the Miskatonic University, so we can kill it while we pass there. Mm -hmm. Okay. First we hit. I will commit nothing. So we hit for uh, uh, six versus four. If we now don't hit, this is probably a resign turn. Yeah, so two damage. We'll hit. Uh, just with the enchanted blade, so we are five versus 
four, minus one. So one more damage. Come on. We'll hit with the enchanted blade. Oh yeah. I just noticed that we are going to die. Because the mask hunter will hunt. And they both will hit. Well, uh, either one of them will hit. Uh, for two damage, and I have, I'm going to die. <laughs> so, last action resign. So that that was the hor most horrible try yet. So we got zero experience. So I'm just resigning. Yeah, uh, resigning without getting any victory points or any cultist defeated. So I had high hopes for this deck, but uh, the chaos back was. Uh, wanted to disagree with my assessment on how well this will go, so sometimes that happens and nothing basically, I, I could have played a bit better, I could have uh, maybe committed the daring for one of those, but then yeah, I couldn't have evaded and I, I just got really bad pulls and the mysterious chanting really uh, blew this game for me because the mass hunter spawned way too early. So, uh, that was Tommy Muldoon in the Eye of Chaos and with, uh, I think, the worst uh, result I have gotten in this series. So, zero XP, zero cultist defeated. So, yeah, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.